So you've reached the end of chapter three and you've had to face the absolute bastard Fuko, the King's Flame. Well, in this short guide, I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks you need to beat this guy once and for all and continue your game. This is an absolutely no need to get good addition. Everything is chaptered and timestamped for your viewing convenience. And we are going to beat this guy once and for all so you can continue to enjoy your game. So if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe. It really means so much to me. And now let's beat the hell out of Fuko. So starting in Fuko's phase one, we're going to be looking at what attacks he's going to throw out. Now, one of his most common attacks is where he does an uppercut followed by a hammer strike down. Stick to his left leg, your right side, and just stick very close to him and dodge to the right. For a second attack, he's going to glow red and charge directly at you. Your best bet here is to always circle to the right and dodge to the right, your right. The third attack that you're going to see him do is he's going to spin in three concentric circles. Your best bet on this one is to stick far outside and just let him spin away. You can dodge when you're very close to him in three perfect dodges, but this guide is again meant to be a no get good guide and you really, really should not risk this. Now a big thing I want to say about the phase one and transition to phase two is if you have any consumables, this is a great boss to use them on because Fuko is very weak to electric attacks and he's very slow. So any sort of consumables or throwables can be incredibly good on this boss. So for Fuko's transition to phase two, you're gonna see him reach into his stomach and basically like open up his fire pit in his stomach. Now this is quite dangerous because he's gonna overheat you pretty much instantly when he does this. I honestly tried to run away. That doesn't work very well. What I would recommend you do is just honestly do as much damage in this part of the transition that you can. You're going to take a lot of damage. There seems to be no way around this. Your best bet is just to stick close to him, hit him with heavy attacks, him with light attacks, and just try to do as much damage in that transitional phase as you can. Because honestly, this is a great time to dish out a lot of damage. And if you have any Fable Arts, it's a great time to unleash them done this phase one to phase two transition. So now we are on to Fuko's phase two. Now this is by far his most difficult phase. He gains several attacks, one of which is an oil attack. So he'll take his gun arm and he'll shoot hot oil at you. This can be very dangerous because you're normally already built up over heat from his transition and this hot oil can do a lot of damage. Another thing he'll do is he'll actually have an empowered overhead hammer strike. So instead of his old usual one two where he does the uppercut and then the hammer strike, now he glows red and goes straight for the hammer strike on the downswing. What I would recommend here is stick close to his right leg and focus on dealing damage in phase two. You really want to be dealing DPS constantly in phase two. If you have fable arts, this is a great time to use it. You should have used all your consumables in phase one. Now another thing that Fuko loves to do in phase two is shoot his flamethrower arm. This is another reason you need to stick close to his right leg. Always stick close to your right side. That would be, I believe, his left leg. Stick close to that right hand side. Always be close to him. Do not give him any range because if you give him range, he's going to hit you with his hot oil or his flamethrower and those are certain death. So stick close to Fuko. So one really great tip I have for his phase two as well is if you have the Fulminius arm, so the Legion arm that shoots electricity, this is a great time to use it. You can oftentimes actually stun Fuko with this. It's not a guarantee. You have to be careful when you use it. Generally, after his hammer strike is a great time, but this can be a really good thing to do. Again, if you had any electrical consumables, Time to throw it is in round one, but Fulminius you can kind of weave in in his phase two process. Another thing that I really wanted to mention on Fuko is that generally circling him from that right hand side can really mess up his AI. Really stick in close there and if you just use Fulminius and do one or two strikes and then basically dodge his next attack, you will get him to 20 to 30 percent health at which point we're going to summon in our Spectre and go in for the boss kill. So you put in the hard work, you've learned Fuko's phase one and phase two attacks from this video and from practice, and now it's time to go for your boss kill. Summon in that Spectre, and remember, do DPS. Stick close to his right side, his left leg, your right side, and just deal a lot of damage in this phase one. One thing I want to say with the Spectre is, 
you really want to try to stick to either side of Fuko. So if he's on the left, you stick to the right. If he's on the right, you have to stick to the left. Just don't be both hit with the same attack. You really, really want to trade the aggro as much as you can and deal a lot of damage and you'll easily get that transition into phase two. Now, one thing that I want to say here is just deal as much damage in that transition as you can. But when your Spectre is about to die, run back and get fully healed up. Because once the Spectre is dead, your prime goal is to do as much DPS as possible. Hopefully you've saved one or two Fable Charges so you'll be able to dish out a lot of damage and you will get that boss kill on Fuko and put him down for good. I really hope you liked this video. Please crush that like button, hit the subscribe. It means so much to a small content creator like myself. I'm going to be doing a boss guide for every boss in the game. I really hope you love this video. I had a great time making it. And I'll see you guys next time.